you got all these thoughts that come in like, okay, don't nobody want me. I'm not wanted. Why doesn't anyone want me? That's the question torturing thousands of children across our country as we begin National Foster Care Month. As 13 on your side's Matt Gard tells us, when older children aren't adopted, it can have a horrible impact on both the children and their communities. That's right, Juliet, and the statistics are pretty staggering. Let's take a look. Right now, there are 400,000 American children in the foster care system. For context, that is double the population of Grand Rapids. Each year, more than 23,000 of those kids age out of foster care without a family. 50% of them become addicted to drugs or alcohol. 47% find themselves unemployed, and 4,600 become unhoused immediately because they have nowhere else to go. But there are some success stories. One Michigan native says she refuses to become a statistic, and she's gonna help kids who are going through the same things she went through. We survived. That, that's all we could do was survive. Brittany Shirell has been through just about every tragedy you could imagine. <sighs> it was rough. Her mom was addicted to drugs, and Brittany and her siblings only had one safety net. My grandmother was just the staple. She was the glue, you know, that kept us together. So once she passed, I think that's just when we all fell apart. Brittany was just nine years old, living in Kalamazoo, when she was raped by a man her family was staying with. How do you go from feeling like you in heaven, you know, with your grandmother to just being in hell? Perhaps the greatest pain of them all came after Brittany's mom was arrested. When Brittany and her siblings were placed into foster care. The first night we were taken, the four of us were all together. And they said, hey, there's not enough room, so we're going to have to split y'all up. Down the road, a phone call <laughs> led to even more grief. And my twin said, we just got adopted. And I think the first thing I did was say, wow. And I thought to myself, I was left behind. The heartbreak Brittany felt caused her to act out. I had these tantrums, you know, but no one really saw that, you know, this kid is hurting. She believes that's why she wasn't adopted. Some foster parents didn't want me because of my behavior, and some just didn't know how to deal with my behavior issues. But not everyone turned their back on Brittany. Having mentors have really helped me get to where I am. Those mentors included Deborah McNair. God gave me a different type of love for Brittany, okay? A love for her that uh, I could see past her pain, and I could see the beauty that lied within Brittany. And Brittany's foster parents. She needed somebody to be there for her, someone who wouldn't give up. When you made her be accountable for what she was doing, then you saw her you know, start to grow. Growth, like going to college, getting a job, and writing a book about her experiences. I feel like I'm proof that you can overcome the system. Now Brittany is an advocate for kids going through the system. The teens are the most forgotten about ones, and I was one of them. She wants to reverse that trend. You can't give up on these kids. You know, it, it, it gets rough, it, it'll get hard, but when you start stick with it and really stand in a gap, I promise you, they will not forget. Brittany wants to see siblings in foster care kept together and for more people to consider adopting older children. Juliet, we have some resources attached to this story at 13onyourside.com for people interested in becoming foster parents or adopting a foster child.